welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. So this game has been talked about by a bunch of my friends and they recommended it to me. So I checked it out and I'm like, oh yeah, it's kind of like a dating sim, right? Wrong. One of the main Steam tags for this game is psychological horror. However, I still do believe that this is a game that has a lot of time and effort put into it and it looks absolutely gorgeous and I actually kind of I kind of want to see what it means by psychological horror so I think I'm gonna be playing it let's get this started uh spongy I am the hottest dude in the school who's talking hey is it me I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. Girl next door. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. Wow, that's kind of rude. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Oh, she's cute. Ha, ha. I overslept again, but I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Spongy. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Because we are absolutely not a couple. I gotta make that clear. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you wanted to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Spongy, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking, either. Eh, that's not true! You told me you would join a club this year! Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. That's actually... That's actually really rude. I have no reason to like this guy so far. Sayori likes to worry a little bit too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I'd die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. God forbid I become a neat. You trust me, right? I mean, sure, I don't care. Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Class time! The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayori? 
Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori... Yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club. Eh, meanie! Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Hey, that's an educational process of its own. That's fine. Don't judge! Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please! Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I let out a long sigh. Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes! Let's go! And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third-year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here! I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere! Ah, Spungy! What a nice surprise! Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls! What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S sorry Natsuki. Hmm. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't, don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right! It's great to see you again, Spungy. Monica smiles sweetly. I love her hair. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically perfect. It's weird that she even exists. That reminds me. I mentioned that this is a psychological horror instead of a dating game, which means I am already suspect of literally everyone. So I'm sorry if I get too... critical. Basically completely out of my league, but somehow still interested in me. A guy who has no talents or interests other than anime. So, having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You too, Monica. Come sit down, Spungy. We made room for you at the 
table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them, I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. That's adorable. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with a mouthful. It's delicious! And has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. You just have to open your mouth really wide and eat it all at once. That'll impress them. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. W why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? In one of those many animes you watch? Or is this... Is this something I should be suspect of? Deja vu. Made them for you or anything, Baka. Eh? I thought you technically did, Sayori said. Well, maybe. But not for, y you know, you, dummy. Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole t no that's me. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh I I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri was just trying to impress you. That's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Well, there's this girl. She literally dragged me here. Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it is my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Uh, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. But... That doesn't... That's kind of what's included with clubs. You have budgets to plan certain outgoings. 
you gotta do publicity so that people join the club, you prepare for events so that you can just have fun with the group. I don't know, just... It seems like you'd be into that kind of stuff. It's weird. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica's... Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events, like the festival, that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. Because I'm illiterate, probably. So, Spongy, what kind of things do you like to read? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. I'll change for any of you girls, apparently. Which is weird, because I never get to date you guys, probably. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seemed so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? I feel like that's... meta? But continue. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. But like, what kind of horror? Like... psychological? Or are we talking just like spooky? Ah, I read a horror book once. It was a manga. Probably. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Well, the protag seems to be about as smart as one, so... Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. Wrong voice. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror! Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Suspect! Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? W what What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems... Everything you do is just as cute as you are. 
Sayori sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh? Well, I guess, sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Mm. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aw, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Hmm? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um... Oof. Yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Spungy? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and... Um... Oh, jeez. Hi, guys! I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But... I'm sorry. I thought... Hmm. Spungy. Y you all... I... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is... If writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls... Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes lighten up. Yes! I'm so happy! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Spongy, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? Everyone has to start somewhere, and she's probably the least likely in the group to judge, other than Sayori. I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Spungy, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and, of course, Monica, the most American name of the four. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? 
Well, you better learn. Literature ain't that bad, dude. Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Did I see dating sim in the tag list? No, I did not. So good luck with that, buddy. All right, I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. It's time to write a poem. Oh, no, it's not time to write a poem because I think this is a good time to end the first episode. This is Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm excited to see where this goes and how it tries to play off on dating sim tropes while not being one. And I'm excited to see what it means by psychological horror because that can really vary depending on what topics it focuses on. And I'm actually wondering if this game is gonna get sort of meta. I'm really excited for that. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you guys next time.